Hi, I'm Ingrid Gattari from Achievers Group and I'd like to share with you what I've learned as a student of leadership. I call it Leadership Foundations. The next law is the law of timing. This one was a tough one for me to really be honest with myself about because leaders generally are and I am generalising, a little bit more impatient than the average person. And so we want things done now. I encourage you, embrace this foundational law of influence, which is timing. Because if you get the timing wrong, your new uh, service or your new product will fail. If you get the timing slightly wrong, then you can still learn from it. And that's really important. And I love this graphic as you can see on screen because it just illustrates timing so perfectly, the bear catching the salmon. You have to know where, when and how. Let me just illustrate this a little bit. In a networking situation, which I like to do quite a lot um, as we build our business, I'm speaking to people and if I haven't connected with that person and I go in and ask for their hand based on the level of relationship I have, I'm really gambling with that because if I haven't built that rapport, I've got my timing wrong and they're pretty much not going to say yes. The law of timing is absolutely essential to great leadership. Great leaders know when the right time is to do what they want to do, when the wrong time is and when to wait. They might have the information in their hands, they might have the product ready to go and the team ready to go, but it might not be the right time. That is leadership. Leaders is our next foundational law of influence. You see, leading leaders engages in the multiplication factor. Let me tell you, it's really hard to lead leaders because if you're a leader yourself, then you're probably at times fairly forceful, for example. You're a decision maker. You take responsibility. You might be a little bit impatient like me. Sometimes leading leaders is a little bit difficult, but that's okay. Releasing a leader to be all that they can be in your team is really important to them because once again, if they are not released and empowered, they will leave. Leading leaders means that you have to identify the leaders in your organisation and work with that top 20% because 20% of, your, of the entirety of your organisation will have that leadership touch on them. You can pick it. The influences. If you work with this top 20%, you are engaging in the law of multiplication and you will find that your business will soar. Leading leaders is a great law of influence. Our final law is leaving a legacy. Maxwell puts it this way, live and lead with the end in mind. In the book Good to Great, the author talks about this. He talks about the fact that level five leaders already are looking for that one or two or three people that have that potential to take over. So they are already living with the end in mind. There's another area as well, and that is that you can leave a legacy of not what you do so much, but who you are as a person. For example, ask yourself, what is my life sentence? I love that question because it kind of plays a trick in your mind. And as a journalist, I'm a words person. So it, it just kind of tickles my fancy, if, so to speak. But what does that mean to have a, to write your life sentence? Well, put it this way, imagine, You've passed away and your organisation, your family, your children, maybe your grandchildren, let's hope that your grandchildren are there as well, are at your funeral. What do you want them to say? What sort of person do you want them to talk about? And is that the way you're living right now? 
Say, for example, you wanted your, your children to acknowledge and to talk about your generosity, for example. Are you being generous now? What are you doing to encourage other people to be generous? Grab a pen and write down the type of person you want to be and the legacy that you want to leave. This is really important. Why is it really important? Well, it gives you purpose. It gives you something to aim for as a person. Because don't forget, leadership is influence. It's who we are as a person. It's not what we do. That's managing. Living a legacy. Live and lead with the end in mind. That's a really core cool foundational principle and our final one for the series of Leadership Foundation.